I was asked this question, how to shine in this world? And then I found Francis Bacon, who was a philosopher, born on 22nd January 1561 in London. Francis Bacon died on 9th April 9, 1626 in London, was an English philosopher and statesman who served as Attorney General and Lord Chancellor of England. Bacon led the advancement of both natural philosophy and the scientific method and his works remained influential in the late stages of the scientific revolution. Francis Bacon said, in order for the light to shine so brightly, the darkness must be present. <laughs> that struggle, yes, yeah, a challenge. In order for the light to shine so brightly, so when you fall sick, you look at the weakness and you rush up, rushes up to the doctor, then you cannot shine. When you fall sick, you learn a lesson, you peep into the weakness of the sickness. And then you can find that you can shine brightly because you see that is a darkness which is dragging you to make you a nobody and then you go for a fast you know why the sickness came it is because of constipation you did not cleanse clean your inner parts and give rest for the mission of your body and when it's clean you can see the vehicle running so brightly <laughs> yes it is shine so brightly and majority of the people who are in naturopathy, who, who, who does fasting, especially Paul's miracle of fasting. If you read it, if you understand, and if you follow that fasting method, fasting and cleansing the internal part, even many people came and told me that this, even the sexual feeling which is totally down has now improved hundred percent yes cleansing yes that is the shining so brightly anything will shine so brightly if you just cleanse it and you go to your examination center you go to your classroom and you see the question you see the teacher it's sickness is weakness but if you're conscious that you come to investigate, you come to take something good into your life, into your daily routine, then the eye opens. And how it opens, the previous class, what is taught, you just empty it up and go to the next class, fresh with that particular subject. It shines so brightly. And for every question, you will find varieties of interpretations of answers. Yes. <laughs> Francis Bacon said, in order for the light to shine so brightly, yes, the darkness must be present. First of all, the light doesn't know there is a darkness. And you as a member who takes things forward without turning back to look how far he has climbed, for you, you don't find the darkness. As you walk further up with the amount of energy, with the amount of power, priceless body, you don't fear. <laughs> You don't fear. When you fear, then you know, you look back to see the darkness. Then you look, search for a light. Be a light unto yourself. Then you go search for gurus, temples, churches, masjids. Then all these people become stupid. Then you want to become your own master. You write, become a philosopher, write, read books. <laughs> Nothing like this. Just believe in your strength and take it forward. In order to for the lights to shine so brightly, the darkness must be present. No, no, no. There's nothing to be present. It is just your gut feeling. They don't have to be present. You go ahead, they follow you. They don't have to be present. It presence is there. Energy presence is everywhere. Everywhere. Provided you sit with your family. The family sits together, eats together, prays to goes together. That is the first stage to shine beautifully in this world. Shine brightly. 
the moment you get disconnected then you see darkness and you always see the darkness and you pray from the dictionary language there is always a light at the end of the tunnel no because you see the darkness you are think only light is there you are light darkness moves out seeing your light you don't wait for the light at the end of the tunnel for that love that urlu seva rolling over yes you do it with your wife with your lover you can find what an energy blooming it's early light and then you find you get connected to the joint family and stands tall the family tree whom do you fear darkness doesn't follow you when you move darkness moves out friends begin said in order for the light to shine so brightly the darkness must be present this is the way to shine without fear